guys, happy Thursday. It is time for Q&A, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the questions I got last week and yesterday. Um, and as a reminder, for those of you that are new to following us, these are for educational purposes only and should not be used as medical advice. Or for any medical concerns, please consult your doctor. Um, we have that our disclaimer all in our highlights below, so you can check that out there as well. All right, here we go. Okay, so when you pump, um, it's really important that you write the date and the time on the bag. Um, so when you go to use that milk, use the oldest first. And it's really important also to use morning milk at morning and milk you pumped at nighttime to reuse around the night because uh, believe it or not, your milk has different um, nutrients that baby needs for morning to help them wake up and for nighttime. So that's a little added bonus. I do also wanna add um, that there's many different ways obviously to do this, um, but what a, lot of, what a lot of moms will do is if they're only focusing on emptying one side, then they will pump on the other side just to keep them even and then to keep a stash. This is a very um, individual and personal question. So it kind of just depends on what your goals are. Are you looking to boost your milk supply a little bit more? Are you looking to um, prolong breastfeeding longer and so you want a little boost? So those kind of answers will help answer your own question. Yeah, I know a lot of times the mattress that comes with pack and plays aren't always the most comfortable or kind of a scratchy surface. So I would just check with the brand that you ordered it from and they might have some recommendations and then the sizes of sheets that you can order. Yeah, so you hit the nail on the head. Um, if you choose to not breastfeed on one side, you might just find yourself um, a little uneven, or you might look uneven, and then that side could just feel uncomfortable or engorged. So it's kind of funny you ask this, because while there hasn't been any you know, studies to prove or disprove this, um, Liesl Teen so from Mommy Labor Nurse actually just did a story this week about her milk supply being up and said, it might be because I ate a lot of Mommy Knows Best lactation cook. Definitely possible. I mean, you're getting all the nutrients that are, you know, good for a breastfeeding mom. So you're just getting them a little head start and just, just healthy food. So, um, I don't see why it wouldn't help just a little bit, but again, there hasn't been like a study to prove that necessarily. Um, but in general, they are safe to have while you're pregnant. So I actually get this a lot and I had it um, by multiple people asked this um, this last week. So yes, um, of course, you know, being pregnant, you should always run things by your doctor, but our lactation cookies don't have any additives. It's all natural. I got cut off, but I was saying if you have any, you know, personal concerns about what you're eating while you're pregnant, definitely consult with your doctor because Obviously, there are some pregnancies where you need to limit certain foods or your doctor wants you to cut some things out. All right, guys, that's all the questions I have for this week. Remember, we do these every single Thursday. So if you have any other questions, please submit them to me and we'll get them answered for you. Um, we also repost these every single Monday um, on our Q&As in our IGTV and YouTube. So um, we always replay those questions there. So if you guys have any questions for next week, go ahead and add them here. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you're not following us yet, be sure to follow us at Mommy Knows Best on Instagram. And remember, if you're watching this and doubting yourself, you are a great mom. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.